What is going on everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Regulation G video. Today we are rocking Lilligant next to a Choice Band Coridon. I like the Choice Band edition there. Kind of spicy. But Lilligant with the Chlorophyll next to the Coridon. Very, very cool. We got access to Pollen Puff with Sleep Powder and Encore on that thing to just be kind of annoying. I'm keen to see what this could do because that actually looks like a really cool set. We also have other strong Pokemon in the sun here. Chi Yu, Fluttermane, uh, Tornadus to help reset the sun if necessary, and then Ferrigraft for some uh, priority control. Really good stuff. Comes from Aquamoth over in the Discord, so thank you for sharing. But let me know in the comments below, do you prefer normal Lilligant or Hisuian Lilligant? For me personally, I like the design of Hisuian Lilligant. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. That's going to be my vote. Let me know yours in the comments below, but let's get into some battles. That's an interesting looking team. What in the world? All right. Um, I kind of just like that as a lead. What do we got on the Farigaraf? I will bring Farigaraf to this one. I will bring Farigaraf here. Um, and then... What am I leaning towards in the back? Kind of thinking Chiyu. It's between Chiyu and Flutter. I'm, I'm thinking Chiyu more than anything, though. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see what they got. Bezendipity. And Lunala. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to tear a fire here. Because both Pokemon are scary, but... Um... Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to Sleep Powder the Lunala as well. Simply because of the fact that I don't want to risk Trick Room going up if I don't KO with Coridon. I don't want to play that game. Come on. Alright, what's Fezendipity do? They just go for Icy Wind, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz on this slot now. I am just gonna go for the Sleep Power. Actually, I'm gonna Encore you. I have Encore. You're gonna get Encored. That's what's gonna happen. Just protect. Protect Lunala. You don't need to do anything. We don't want Fezendipity anymore. He, uh... Kind of crazy seeing a Fezendipity. I haven't seen one in a while. What do they bring in? They go for Protect. Something the sleepy. Oh, cool. That's fine. Um, so we are gonna go for a flare blitz into that, and we're actually gonna rotate in for Rigoraf. Something the sleepy. The whole team's sleepy. Everybody on that team is sleepy. Big Flare Blitz coming out. Down goes Comfey. Oh, 
All right. Did they Terra? I don't remember. I don't think so. No. Hmm, what do I go what do I go for here? I'm just gonna go for the Rillaboom. And I'm gonna ally switch. I'm gonna be cheeky with it. I'm gonna ally switch here and go for the Rillaboom in case they go for a meteor beam. They can have my uh they can have my Ferrigarath. They are gonna tear the Rillaboom. Okay. There's the fire. I kind of expected that, but I also just assumed they would protect this turn. They don't protect, though. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that to KO, I'm going to be honest with you. I was not expecting that. Went for Moongeist on the wrong spot, get got. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna go for this. Go for a Flare Blitz. That's crazy amounts of damage. Flare Blitz goes off. Almost, not quite. Crydon's gonna KO itself. Right on KOs, and then here comes a moon blast. Not enough. Psychic noise. Just a little bit of chip. Just the tiniest bit of chip. Um, and we can get into you. We get into you. That's a GG. We click this, we click this. Every move we have on Chiyu can miss, so it doesn't matter what we click. GG! Wait, what am I looking at right now? This is like Top 2000's Master Ball. What are we looking at? Alright, well... Definitely think I'm just bringing these two to start. And then in the back... They don't really have any form of speed control. Could also be a little scary with, uh, what, what terror type are we? Fire? Probably, yeah. Fire. That's a little scary, but I think I can get away with this. Uh, just because of the potential play rough, being four times super effective into my Coridon is a little nerve-wracking. But, I think we'll be okay if we do this. See the leads here. Okay. What in the world? I mean, I'm just going to Sleep Powder onto the King Gambit, and I'm going to lock into Flare Blitz. I think they faked me out this turn. I don't know what this team is and how they are ranked so high. It's crazy. I wonder how many people say that about some of the teams I bring, though. Like, we played Venonat last, in the last recording that I did. Sleep Powder goes off, we do land. They don't fake me out. I find that interesting. Well, I didn't need to Sleep Powder that Pokemon. Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. What am I witnessing right now? All right, there's the trick room. Okay, whatever. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna pollen puff here and go for a flare blitz onto 
that. What is happening? Alright, they're gonna pull the King Gambit, that's fine. What comes in? Groudon. Okay, makes sense. Checks out. Foul play. Not gonna do a ton of damage. Flare Blitz is gonna... We're gonna take a decent chunk here. Oh, we crit. We are gonna take a decent chunk because that was full health from recoil, but that's why we Pollen Puff. Alright, what comes in? Azu. How many more turns of Trick Room are we up against? Three? What in the... I mean... What do I do? Go for the Sleep Powder, I suppose. And I can swap in Chi Yu. That'll work. We'll go for the Sleep Powder and swap Chi Yu. They actually went for Play Rough into Lilligant. They double my Lilligant. Okay. I'm gonna bring in my Flutter main. We're gonna protect Flutter main this turn, and we have two more turns of Trick Room, right? Yeah. I just want to overheat. I want to protect and overheat, I'm thinking. Uh, use the sun while I have it. They're going to Terrastalize. Groudon's going to Terrastalize into a fire type. Okay. Not going to do a ton of damage here. There's the play rough, not gonna connect. Crespus Blades, miss. 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 Yes. That's huge. It's a big turn for us. That still did a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for another overheat here. We don't get the double protect, so that sucks. Oh, and they went for heat crash, oddly enough. Okay. Overheat connects. Let's see what kind of damage we get off here. Almost, almost. Sunlight fades. Just the dimensions return to normal. Crydon comes back. I think we have to go for Heat Wave. We gotta Terrastalize so that way we don't get bought by a Play Rough here.
This is kind of an interesting end game. Groudon's just gonna protect. Okay. They are gonna Aqua Jet. That did a lot of damage. The unfortunate circumstances, I don't know that I KO on another collision course on that slot. That's the weird thing. All right, so Groudon's gone. We have to go for another collision course onto Azumarill next turn. Oh, they went for Parish Song. Okay. So they probably protect. This is going to be an interesting endgame. They have King Gambit still. It's still asleep, though, is the plus side. Uh, we go for the collision course on King Gambit because they likely protect Azumarill this turn. Okay. There's the protect. Perfect. So it's going to come down to Karidon versus Azumarill. And I don't think they're going to do enough damage is the crazy part. All right, we're on two. Here comes a collision course. They better not hit a double protect. I think that's their win con. You're joking, right? You're joking, right? I have to hit this. This has to KO. This has to KO. No way. They just hit a triple protect. I don't even know what to say. I couldn't have played it better. I could not have played that battle better. How do they hit a triple protect? Alrighty. How do I want to deal with this? I mean, I kind of just want to do these two in the lead, bring these two in the back. That kind of just feels good. Let's see what they got. What do we got? All right, just the lead I was expecting. Just the lead I was expecting. And then what do they got in the back? Okay. I think I'm going to do this. And I'm going to go for a heat wave. I just want to KO. I just want to KO more than anything. We're going to Terrasilize. Ideally, that lets me survive one Astral Barrage. Assuming it's not helping handed. That's the goal, the hope, and the dream here. They're going to Terrasilize as well. Likely going for a Terra Fairy, I would predict. Terra Ghost. Okay, they're committed to the Astral Barrage. They want the most damage imaginable. I wonder if they're Spell Tag. Here. 
Okay, that's fine. I don't care. As long as we hit the icy wind and as long as we hit the heat wave. There's a lot of as long as we do XYZ things here. We break a potential sash this way. Heat wave connects. Bop. What in the shenanigans? Oh, friend guard. That's that's the problem. Friend guard. Okay, survive one, Fluttermane. Or not. That's cool too. I didn't want you to actually survive one. That's cool too. Yeah, that friend guard's crazy. Grimne goes off. Getting Karidon. We're going to Flare Blitz there, and we're just going to go for another Heat Wave. I would hope with the Sun, we KO. Alright, they're going to swap. Makes sense. They don't want the speed drop. In comes Ogre Pond. That's cool. They're going to double swap. Caught a burn on the Urshifu, not that it matters. Heat wave goes off. Nice. Mmm, I don't know that we got this without having Lilligant in the sun. Lilligant in the sun is actually so incredibly crucial. Now, if they bring Clefairy back in before they bring in Calyrex, we're in good shape. That is exactly what I wanted to see. That is so much what I wanted to see. Okay, we get Lilligant in. We need to get Lilligant in. That is so crucial to this, this endgame. Crydon, come back. We need to get Lilligant in the sun. Because then we outspeed Calyrex. They go for follow me. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That is so much what I wanted to see. Let's go. Heat wave. Didn't quite get the Clefairy. And that is the unfortunate circumstance here. Icy wind. Okay. Not KOing the Clefairy there is bad. It's really bad. But here's what I do. I Pollen Puff Heat Wave. They're going to follow me, though, and Pollen Puff's not going to work. This might be a bad play. They may follow me here. No, they... Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. What are they doing if they're not... That should allow me to survive one more Astral Barrage. Please let me survive one more Astral Barrage. Nice. Nice. Crit on Lilligant. Come on, Chiyu. Come on, Chiyu. This is all up to you, baby. It's all up to you, baby. Come on. In the sun. Heat wave. Don't miss. Come on. Yes! That's the way, Lilligan. That is the way. Let's go. What did they click on Clefairy that they weren't? I'm so confused. What did they click? Where was the follow me? That battle shouldn't have gone our way, but it did. <laughs> 
Alrighty, there's the team once more for you. Very fun Lilligant set. I really like it. It has so much utility with the Encore, the Sleep Powder, and the Pollen Puff. There's so much supportive tools that this Lilligant has at its disposal. I'm a big fan of this team. I like the Choice Band Coridon as well. It hits like a truck. It's just super fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to sub for more videos like this in the future. And if you want to share Reg G teams that can be featured in future videos, be sure to check out the Discord. But until next time, peace.